Hey there, Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw a radio telescope, like, a bit like Jodrell Bang. So I'm gonna start about here, and I'm gonna come down in a very gentle curve like that. Then you wanna just come around the corner a little bit, and then another curve going the other way, like that. Draw two little lines like that, and then we're gonna join them up with a curve like that. We have the kind of reflector receiver bit coming out of the middle like that. And we want to kind of have that with lots of little X's in the middle there and a kind of a box thing. And that's the receiver there. And then we can have some shading in here. So I'm gonna so shade all the way to the end and then I'm going to make these lines a little bit shorter and shorter so that they come in in a kind of a curve like that and maybe a little dot there. Now this all kind of hinges around so it can look up at the sky and so our kind of hinge points are like boxes so sort of long boxes like that. So it's one box with a box next to it. And we can put some little kind of marks in there like that, one, two, three. And then we need some legs for this. So that's gonna come down there. These are slightly splayed apart. And then we're gonna do something that way as well. And we're gonna make this easy for you. Um, we're not gonna make it too three dimensional because we're not gonna worry about the ones at the back there because it starts to get very complicated. So I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible. Now let's draw two more lines, quite big lines going along like that. And then we need to draw a curve connecting them up. And that's gonna be going behind here. So that's a bit complicated. And let's draw these one, two, one like that, one like that. And then that can be about like that. Then draw X's. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos to help you improve your creative skills. And there, and there, it's not easy. And then we're gonna draw a line through the middle of those X's as well. And you can maybe draw another one in there. And we can make that a bit more solid as well. We'll make that obviously going around the back there. And then we need this kind of tilt mechanism. These might have to get a bit longer in a moment. Let's have a look. So this is gonna start about there. It's gonna come down in a curve. This is not easy. And then that is gonna come all the way around and up to there. So starting in a bit there. And then we need another curve that kind of follows it on the inside like that. And then we can put these like little sort of clock time marks, ticks going across like that. And then we want to do, go halfway in up to there like that. And up, down to halfway in the box, up to the top, to the point, halfway in the box, down like that. And follow all the way along. This is a very complicated thing because there's so much iron work going on <laughs> but I think we'll get there and then there's another one so it's kind of two and um, we'll do that sort of coming like that in there it's very complicated <laughs> and we'll draw that there but I think these are the bits that really make it look Jodrell Bank like I think and we can um, do that I think Jodrell Bank is a, it's just a really really old um, telescope that's been there forever. I think it was used for communications in the Apollo moon landings and all sorts of stuff like that. It's sort of quite historic. And then we'll need to do another little bit coming up there like that. Now behind here is the dish. So we need to draw a curve that's gonna come sort of like that and we'll come out on the other side here up to there. It could be a bit deeper. And what I'm gonna do is draw lots of little 
lines here to shade that in. Now you can shade this in with pencil or with something gray or something like that. Now of course there's going to be another one of these on the other side. I'm going to make these just a little bit longer and make them all kind of come land there and you're going to see a couple on the other side like that which is holding the whole thing up as well and that'll be sort of going up there too and then you can have the whole thing sort of sprouting out of the grass like that and there you go how to draw a radio telescope real easy Actually, it's quite a difficult one, that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.